Okay, and this next one we can do on the same piece of paper, but just a little bit about color, depth, and perspective. Okay, so one point perspective is when we have a vanishing point on a horizon line like this, and we'll become clear in just a second what that means. So things that get closer to us become bigger, things that are further away from us become smaller. So for this, we're going to do a hypothetical avenue of trees. What that means is that the trees here are only going to get like this high. You can do any number of radiating lines, but generally they're going to get higher and higher as they move off into the distance. So you're going to get something sort of like this where the highest branches are up here. The other thing is that as colors move into the distance, they tend to become kind of bluer and duller. So I'm just mixing up some more of that ultramarine and black. I'm gonna dilute it a ton. And with the most dilute version of this, I'm gonna come in and do some trees way off in the background. So I'm gonna make these super fine, like really fine lines. And you can just go across, you know, the page in a line if you want. The key thing is that they don't really get higher than what I'm doing right now. And don't worry about um, drawing in these pencil marks I've done here. Those are just for illustrative purposes. And then I'm going to add a little bit more color to that. So a little bit um, more of a concentrated amount of paint. And I'm gonna come in to the mid-ground, so the next layer. And as they're getting closer to us, they're getting darker and larger. So I'm using thicker brush strokes and I'm making the trees even larger. And then for my last one, it's going to be the darkest and kind of purest color. So I'm going to add in a lot more blue. This is going to be kind of the thickest mark. So I'm going to let's see if it's coming down here and it's an avenue. The trees closest to us are going to be the darkest and the biggest. Another thing to note about color and perspective is that red colors tend to come forwards more. So let's just do a, like a simplified red flower here just to illustrate that point. And contrast is heightened, so objects are a lot sharper. So I'm going to mix together some green and orange and then I'm going to retrieve my card for this next part. I'm going to dip the side of my card in that green-orange mix and, oops, let me actually wet the card first. Try and make some grasses with the side of the card.
and there you have it. I mean, just basic perspective and a little bit of understanding about what happens to color as it moves off into the background. So I hope this made sense and we will continue from here.